Hey guys, welcome back to Jurassic Collectibles. So, look at this. Another parcel has arrived for review on the channel. This comes from our good friend Paul Tanonpong, and he has just created uh, some new models, and he's got a new company called Blue Dinos. I'll put a link to his Facebook page, his Etsy, and also his sale page on dansdinosaurs.com because he is selling one of these and more. Uh, so do go and check out his stuff. So without further ado, let's show you what's inside this box. As usual, I'm using a craft knife now. Remember kids, if you're using a craft knife, do get adult supervision because you never know what crazy stuff is gonna burst out with this box. No, not really. Uh, it's just that the craft knife is a little bit sharp. So uh, it's always good to get adult supervision. Now, I don't know if there's a note in here. Uh, if I miss it, Paul, I do apologize, but ah, there is, there's a note. So it says, uh, I'll just read the top line. It says, hello, my name is Paul Tanonpong. I've been a sculptor all my life, so it made sense to go into 3D modeling and sculpting. After over 10 years in the game industry, I'm looking to go back to my roots and get back into hand sculpting once again. And that's exactly what he's done. So let's see what's inside. Oh, so we've got a really nice bubble wrap parcel here. I'm gonna break this out of the packaging and we'll see what's inside. It's quite late at night here and uh, the house is really nice and quiet. As you may know, uh, recently me and my wife had uh, a baby girl and uh, it tends to get a little bit noisy uh, in the day. Oh, you've hand signed and numbered this. Really cool, Paul. Really looking forward to seeing this. So as I said, the house is lovely and quiet, which is perfect for reviewing. Look at this fantastic base. Okay, I feel like I'm removing the bandages off of a wounded soldier, but look at this. Wow, that is absolutely stunning, Paul. And uh, as he said, he comes from uh, the games industry. He's worked in the games industry uh, for 10 years and he's decided to go back to his roots, which is sculpting and painting. And this is absolutely fantastic, Paul. Wow, so here we have a Carnotaurus bust. And I think Paul said he's taken some artistic liberties to go for a Carnotaurus that he pictures in his mind. And I think this is a fantastic version of that dinosaur. It looks absolutely incredible. So without further ado, let's take a closer look at this thing. So I can feel it's made from a resin. As you can see, Paul has signed the bottom 2015 and this is number one. Wow, thanks Paul. As you can see on the base itself, Paul's actually added this really nice faux wooden effect and that is just incredible. Again, this is made from resin, but it just looks like genuine sort of aged wood, like antique seasoned wood. That's absolutely incredible. Good work there, Paul. And then as we move up this organic flow into the head, you can see this really nice, beautiful sculpt of this Carnotaurus. And I can't help but compare this to the Disney Carnotaurus, of which I'm very, very fond, and is probably one of the most popular dinosaurs from any franchise. I think a load of people really cite that as one of their favorite dinosaurs. I love the contrast of the gloss and the satin finish that you've done here, Paul. Uh, really, really nice, especially around the gum area and the teeth. You've got this really nice, genuine, wet look. Also in that flesh in the corner of the mouth. And that's something that didn't come over in the photos you sent me. And in hand, it just looks absolutely incredible. Really, really beautiful. So this is gonna go pride of place in my display cabinet. This is absolutely incredible, Paul. Great work. And then you can see you've got a nice plain black finish on the end there. Here's an even closer macro, close up of the eye and the nostril. All that lovely scale detail going on, all these lovely folds. Love these scales here as well. Really lovely finish on the teeth and the gums. Just looks incredible. And you can see the tongue has been sculpted nicely as well. See if I can turn this around. You can see the roof of the mouth has been nicely painted as well. So this would have started its life as a 3D model and then was rapid prototyped, finished by Paul, and then molded and cast in resin. And you can get hold of one of these yourself. So if you'd like to own one of these beautiful Carnotaurus busts, 
be sure to check out Paul Tanonpong's Etsy page. He's also selling these on dansdinosaurs.com right now. And he's also got a wonderful Facebook page to keep you updated on his latest works. I think he's about to sell a Megalodon tooth casting, uh, which it looks absolutely amazing. And I can't wait to see uh, what you come up with in the future, Paul. I'm really proud to be the owner of your first casting. Uh, and you can get this guy in gray primed paint. So you can get it unpainted and paint it yourself. If you're an artist and you want to have a go at it yourself, then you can buy one one of the gray unpainted versions but you can also get them finished like this one uh, beautifully painted in several styles so be sure to check out the different styles available this is my personal favorite uh, just because it reminds me of the Carnotaurus from the Disney film uh, but yeah it just looks absolutely fantastic okay guys let me know what you think in the comments down below in the meantime rate comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video